Can you become a pilot from aeronautical engineering background? So this is the question that sometimes I received in my channel. And in today's video, this is going to be the topic that I will be discussing. Stick with me. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And by this time you have already known what will be the topic of our today's discussion. Can you become a pilot from aeronautical engineering background? So the short answer is yes, you can. It connected with many other issues as well. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about it. So the today's video will be divided in mainly three parts. First part will be if you are from a country like Bangladesh, India, Nepal, those countries, then what going to be the process for you? And do you nearly really need to consider it at all? And the second part will be if you are from a country like United States. And in the third parts, I will be giving my opinion. Do you really need to consider this route? My friend, the first part, if you are from a country like Bangladesh, India or Nepal, and you are an aeronautical engineer, you are working in the industry. Now you want to transition to become a pilot. First of all, do you really need this? Okay, there might be many reasons for which you are considering to become a pilot. Maybe for salary raise, if you consider Bangladesh especially, there is a huge salary difference between a pilot and, then, and an aircraft maintenance engineer. So if you really want to do this, then uh, one of the prime reasons could be your hobby, your career goal or the salary raise. Now, as I said, these are some of the reasons for which you can consider to transition your career. If you are from India, unlike Bangladesh and Nepal, you do have the chances to take the loan to pursue your pilot training. And this is a big advantage for India compared to Bangladesh, Nepal or other countries in the Southeast Asia. So for the people from India or the student from India, this is a huge advantage, but this is not available at least for Bangladesh, uh, for the students to take such a big amount of loan to continue their pilot training. Now the question is, will it be helpful for you in any sort like to transition from aeronautical engineering to become an airlines pilot i would say that no not at all uh, your aeronautical engineering background will not gonna help there at all so the main thing is that pilot training curriculum and the engineering curriculum is very very different i myself taking my engineering degree and working for both boeing and airbus and also uh, taking my pilot training, I can say that your engineering background will very little help you. So it will not be so much helpful for you for if you want to transition from your engineering career to the pilot career. Uh, so what I recommend if you are from Bangladesh, India, Nepal or the Southeast Asian countries or other countries, uh, I would recommend you not to go for engineering training or engineering degree and then come to become a pilot. You don't need to do this at all. If it is just additionally wasters of your money and wasters of your time, which you could easily save. So what I recommend for them, if you want to become a pilot, take loan or manage money at the very beginning and go for the pilot training. This is the best users of your money and time. Don't put your time and don't put your money to be wasters. Now guys, let's talk about something else and it's about our today's video sponsor solidessay.com yes you are right solidessay.com is a game changer for any students feeling overwhelmed by essays and assignments imagine having a personal assistant who's always ready to help you craft the perfect paper no matter what the topic or deadline is that's exactly what the solidessay.com is this service is like having an expert at your side, guiding you through the match of academics writing. Whether you are struggling with research, formatting, or just getting started, their team of experienced writers is there to help you lift the weight of your shoulders. So if you want to boost your grade and mars your student life a bit easier, give solidacy.com a try. It might just be the best study buddy you will ever have. 
you can check the description box below and I will put my referral link there. You will get 20% of the discount for all academic service you will take from solidessay.com. Thank you solidessay.com. Now going back to the main discussion. Now let's consider the second case. You are from the United States. In that case, it can be a very good combination to have an aeronautical engineering degree and to take your pilot training at the same time. Look, United States is a very big country. First man carrying airplane flew here. Wright brothers first flew the airplane successfully, which was controllable. So this country is a very fertile land for aviation and aerospace. So what happened here? Here we have a lots of pilot in the United States, unlike Bangladesh or other countries. So what happened here? Piloting job is very, very competitive here. And if you compare with the engineering job and piloting job in the United States, I can tell you engineering job, especially if you are a well decorated aerospace engineer, work for Boeing, Airbus or other places, this engineering job is much more lucrative than become a pilot in the United States. Unless, unless if you become a pilot for the major airlines like United, Delta, American Airlines, and if you get a good seniority there, unless otherwise being an aerospace engineer and doing job in the top multinational aerospace company is much more lucrative. But point to be noted here that this is not everyone's cup of tea. So like you cannot become a aerospace engineer in top multinational company very easily. Of course, you need to be very, very qualified. OK, so going back to the discussion, if you are from the United States, if you have an aeronautical engineering degree and also also if you have your pilot training, this will help you tremendously because I said pilot job market is very competitive in the United States. The more you have in your resume, the better it is for you. Let's say someone came with a 12th grade degree and his pilot training applying for a major airlines and someone came with his bachelor degree, more specifically aeronautical engineering along with his pilot training. So in that case, this qualification make this candidate way more competitive than the person who came with only 12th grade degree. So, and this is very, very true for the United States. That's why you can see more major airlines like United, Delta, American Airlines. They already mentioned in their job requirement. They look for bachelor degree, minimum bachelor degree for a pilot to be recruited there. And if your bachelor degree in aeronautical engineering, it will even or aerospace engineering, it will even put you in the more competitive place than compared to other candidates. And in the United States, getting pilot job is very, very complex, especially after putting the 1500 flight hours requirement by the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. That means in Bangladesh or many other countries, almost all the countries in the world, if you complete your pilot training, commercial pilot training within 150 hours to 250 hours, you can easily take your type training and become a pilot there. But in the United States, on top of taking your commercial pilot training, usually people take their instructor rating, instructor rating for instrument, and also they take the multi-engine instructor rating. So this additional rating put a lot of monetary burden on you. You have to spend a lot of money and time. At the same time, at the same time, uh, you have to gain addition, total 1500 flight hours of training before you can jump into the cockpit of a regional airlines like um, American Delta, they have their own regional counterparts. So even if you want to go there for the CRJ or Embraer types of airplane, you need to have 1500 flight hours. And this is a huge barrier in the United States that makes it very difficult to get into the uh, pilot career, especially regional airlines nowadays paying good, but it was notorious uh, previously for paying less amount of money. And sometimes it was said that a regional airlines pilot salary during the time of 2009, 2006, 2007, during that time, it was equivalent almost close to the payment or salary of a bus driver in the United States. So your salary is only gonna go up if you can transfer successfully to the major airlines that I said American Airlines, Delta, JetBlue, Southwest, those type of airlines. Okay, and this thing comes with time and spending or lot of money and gaining many hours in your portfolio, then only you can jump into the cockpit of the major airlines. Now let's discuss the last part. What steps you should take 
to become a pilot. So, and if you want to combine your aeronautical engineering degree with that. For India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, those countries, or almost I would say 90% of the countries in the world, you please do not take an aeronautical engineering degree at all if you want to become a pilot. You just don't need it. Go directly for your pilot training and in 90% of the countries in the world, I believe if you complete your private pilot rating, instrument rating and commercial pilot rating within let's say 150 to 250 hours, you will immediately hire by the you will immediately hire by the airlines but i know it is difficult in india because i heard that their people or the pilot need to take their type training with their own money especially for a320 cockpit and boeing 737 cockpit but this is for india for most of the countries uh, i would say that you can directly hire especially in the europe as a first officer by the airlines after right after getting your commercial pilot rating so this is a very big advantage i would say so don't lose this advantage don't go for engineering degree if your ultimate goal is to become a pilot don't waste your money and time but i said it's very different catch for the united states because the market is very very highly competitive and uh, before becoming a becoming a major airlines pilot your salary is not that high so for united states if you really want to become or uh, if you want to really excel in your career in the piloting having an aeronautical engineering degree beside your pilot training or aviation related degree like aviation management is really gonna help you a lot okay considering all these hurdles and uh, difficulties getting into the major airlines as a pilot in the united states is really difficult that is why i say the more ingredients good thing you have in your profile the better it is for you so if you have a pilot training that is excellent on top of that if you can accumulate your bachelor degree in aeronautical engineering aviation management or any relevant field that will help you tremendously trust me for the united states where it is overly saturated overly populated by lots of pilot in boeing also i have many colleagues those who have their engineering degree and also the pilot license as well and they have the commercial pilot license and the certified flight instructor certified flight instructor instrument and also multi-engine they have all sort of this rating but even though they are working as an aerospace engineer because it gives them better work-life balance and also better salary so perfectly fine and in usa many colleges like best aviation college like Purdue university let's say take it for an example they are the students those who study aerospace engineering many of them has the pilot license as well because um, they have the integrated uh, aerospace engineering program and also the pilot training program so if you put extra money there beside your engineering degree you can also take the pilot license and this is uh, very common in the united states also if you can consider the embryo aeronautical engineering same practices there this is just because market is very crowded here so if you want to nail your job it is always best to have more thing in your profile but this is not applicable for other countries so for other countries do not waste your time by reading studying engineering directly go for pilot training but for usa the better have you have in your profile it is good for you okay the more amount of ingredients or thing you can add in your profile now for uh, those countries how can you approach for the pilot training initially you have to take your private pilot license then you need to take your instrument rating and after that you need to take your commercial pilot license cpl after having this you will start applying for the airlines and they will hire you as a first officer or cadet pilot then they will send you to the simulator to take the drive training or on the airlines that you will be flying and after completing the type training within couple months or weeks you will come back to the airlines and start flying as a first officer then get promotion and become captain so this is for the other countries but for united states is very complicated you need to take your private pilot license then instrument rating then you need to take your commercial pilot license and after that you will go for your instructor rating instructor rating you need to take your instructor rating first then instructor rating for instrument then multi-engine after taking this you will again need to fly additional 100 
1100 to 1200 flight hours just to reach to your 1500 flight hours requirement and after having this 1500 flight hours requirement that you will gain mainly training other students as an instructor then only you can go for the regional airlines and after gaining thousands of hours they are regional then you can shift to the major airlines so it's a very very complicated and complex journey that is why in usa if someone wants to uh, pursue their pilot training as an international student i do not recommend them usa is a haven for engineers if you are a qualified engineer okay so you can consider engineering here which will give you best investment on return if you go for engineering school and really make a solid profile here piloting is not that much lucrative job here unless if you really can work for the major airlines okay so keep it in your note so for usa this is the route you can go which again i say very very complex don't make your life complex engineering is far better here to study but if you're from other country you can follow my instruct instruction okay that will make your life easy i hope you get uh, my today's video helpful if you have any further question relevant to this i might not be able to cover everything here based on the time limitation of the video please feel free to drop a comment below i will try to answer your question and feel free to follow me in instagram and facebook stay connected have a nice rest of the day bye bye